Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Who is this? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I can't see a name. There's three of them in the hangar with me. I can't stall them for long. Run! Aiden, get to the escape pod! It's too late for that. Finish the mission, Mila. Hangar airlock disengaged. No! Okay. So this is probably Aiden. Yep. All right. This is unfortunate end here. Mission day 17. Unknown, unknown, unknown. So these are incoming outgoing manifests. Okay. So Aiden went out for bio and water sample collection. Interesting. Now, there was some type of research that they're doing that they're not thrilled with. It sounds like they're researching the species themselves and not just organisms, as uh, as Silas pointed out here. Silas, if you need, if you find this, please don't tell me I have nearly all of them. Really, if you find this, I'm pretty sure Silas has been hiding all these pens here. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Silas, like, grabbing them is like out of spite or something like that, hiding all the pens from people. I, Aiden Vice, Chief Engineer aboard SBL, do, here, do hereby revoke my former wills and declare my last will and testament. I declare my current future assets, earnings, wealth to my daughter, Keen and Vice, to Ken, 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 Ken Vice, to pay for the outstanding medical receipts and invoices. I direct that with the treatment, a cure of Kenya's CSAD disease, take first priority. I appoint Ter Thera Vice to be Kena's guardian and oversee her treatment. Interesting. All right, so we kind of find out a little bit about him then. All right, so this is a... Uh... wonder if I'll do something with these eventually. Hmm. I don't know. What is this? Tetron multi-sync cell. Okay, we're going to come back to this later. Fairly certain. But I don't want to grab it now. We should remember that's there, though. So, where would the uh, the the escape pods be? And where would they escape to? Huh. All right, let's go give Aiden a fitting uh, burial here. This is his daughter's uh, toy. There you go, buddy. Poor guy. I saw it over here? I think yes. Huh. Can't push the buttons on that, but... That is interesting. Finish moving the rest of the fuel cells from the hangar office to engineering, okay? Insert fusion cell to begin. Check engine to restore power to Salas' room, okay? Hmm. Well, there's gotta be controls for this someplace here. And those symbols all here mean something, clearly. Can't do anything with them though. Uh, so we need a power cell for this. And that wasn't the thing we were just seeing, like the yellow thing, right? That seemed like it was something else. The first set of drones returned with the sediment samples, but two were done. Are you drinking? Uh, no. I'm rescuing what's trapped in this bottle. Well, are you gonna share or what? Have a seat. Hmm. All right. Um, okay, so we Let's see. 
Engine control is disabled. All fuel cells must be active. Okay. Well, here's a fuel cell. Is this what we need? Where was that? Uh, where, what, where did that supposed to go? Uh, over here? No, I saw it. This is old one needs to come out. Nope. Okay. Multi-sync cell. Okay, so this is this is what we needed. Here it is. Frequency analysis analyzing. Okay. So what do we do with this then? Um Clearly, we need to pick the right combination here of things. Part of me just wants to start clicking. Because I don't know which one of these things we need to match it to. Replace spent fuel cells. Microfabrication, calibration, displacement, engine reset. Okay. Step one. Remove an exhausted fuel cell only after displacing the microfabrication reluctance such that it is in a static position. Okay. Step two. For best performance, perform the two-stage anthropetry analysis of the planar and spatial encabulator on the prospective fuel cell prior to loading into the calibrator. Right. Yeah, obviously. Step three. Once decoupled from the phase detractor, reference the exact sampling method that matches the fuel cell input to the panendermic transformer output. Right. Oh, well, obviously. Yeah, but... Step four, the serial and parallel manipulation of the displacement matrix is automated during the engine restart process. Maintain a safe distance to avoid internal organ dissolution. Note, local zero gravity is required for a full engine restart. All non-secured objects must be locked down. Okay, so we remove the, remove, remove the bad ones. So we need to frequency analyze this this thing here. Okay, hold on a second. It said so microfabrication. Step one: remove an exhausted fuel cell only after displacing the microfabrication reluctance such that it is in a static position. Okay, I think we've done that. Step two: for best performance, perform the two-stage anthropetry analysis of the planar and spatial encabulator on the prospective fuel cell prior to loading into the calibrator. Okay, so. Okay, so here this was running over to here, so we match it up to that. So this is what we got to calibrate it for. We got to do that, this, that. God. Okay. Yeah. Nice and nice and easy. That, this, and that. Okay. Uh, it was, I don't want to screw this up now. Left and then up. It's saving it at least. We can do one at a time if we need to. Okay, so it's up, up down and then uh right down okay that's easy up down right down and then right down your frequency registered oops okay We need to find another uh, cell here. We did find the one in the other room here. And it looks like we only need those two. So, okay, let's go back and grab that one. Where did we see that? It was over in the other room here, right? Over here? Was this it? Ah! What the hell? Jeez. Don't do that to me. What the hell? This game is jumping out at me for no reason.
Uncalled for, robot. I knew he was creepy. How frightened were you by this? You owe me a new shirt, Aiden. How did you ever manage to get this job? So Aiden set this up. Okay. Well, now I'm not so mad at it because it's Aiden being a jerk. You're no longer my favorite, Aiden. You're no longer my favorite. I'm glad you're dead now. <laughs> I'm not glad you're dead, I guess. How did he get the sound? There it is. This this tripwire here. Will we go off again? No, no, man. That's that's something else. Oh God. Uh, all right. So where? Hmm. Where do we see that? It's over here, right? Mm, yeah, it's over here. I had a feeling we need it. Oh, this game is not scary, except for when Aiden's messing with you. All right. Pop it in. All right, analyzing frequency. Now this is what's going, what's going in here. So it's coming out this way. Going up through here. It's a lighter cable, so it's coming out through here. Why would you do it this way? Going through here. Going through here. Right here. Okay, so we got this one. Uh, top, bottom, bottom left. Up, 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 up. This is either top, up, bottom left. Okay. So up, bottom left. Then up, up. Enable emergency life support systems. Disconnect outgoing electrical processes. Full engine reset. I done good. Uh, and stand back. It said stand, stand, stand back. It said stand back. Holy cow! No, 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 no! I'm cool. I'm cool. Cool. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Well, somebody's alive still. So that's a good sign. But. Silas's room power restored. Okay. Welcome, Silas. Well. Despite them running away from me, um, they're still alive at least. That's something. When I was young, a close friend of mine died. Even at his funeral, I couldn't process his death. I can't help feeling like I'm at another funeral, one where we haven't yet found the body. I don't know what that means exactly, but... Does he have some of the same books? Um, no, he seems to have more of a... Doctors of War. More history books, I'm guessing. Textbooks and that kind of thing. Seems like that type. Oh, he's got a nice study here, though. This is kind of cool. Facing the glass, turn left to your quest. Middle row is reserved to be searched by the best. Inside the mind, your treasure does rest. Revolution supply is the key to this test. Well, we thought, I thought we already found his thing here. Let's see if it's the same as the other room here. Okay, actually, I think I started in the wrong spot here. Hmm. 
Okay, so not the same password everywhere. All right, well, good to know. Facing the last, turn left to your quest. Middle rows are reserved to be searched by the best. Inside the mind, your treasure does rest. Revolution supplies the key to this test. Okay. Um, I'll be stuck at this forever. Hmm. So facing the glass, turn left to your quest. I wonder if this is a clue. Maybe. Let's see what's it say next then. Middle rows are reserved to be searched by the best. Hmm. Oh. Well, there's a lot of symbols on here. Okay, so Psy Prime Species 153893. Creatures adapted to grow protective uh, creatine scaled armor on Tark's exterior body. If threatened or fighting by a predator, it emits a noxious chemical from its rear. So, like, evolve skunks? I have no doubt we've discovered aliens, Aiden's spirit animal. Nice. Um, okay, so middle rows are reserved to be, I'm thinking it's up here though. Inside the mind, your treasure does rest. Revolution supplies the key to this test. Revolution in the title, maybe? We need a title with a revolution in it. Let's start over here, because it did say left, face the glass. Turn left to your quest. Middle rows are best searched by the best. So search for revolution in the middle here someplace. What was the middle part here? Inside the mind, your treasure does rest. Inside the mind. Oh, this one here. So this is the, the okay, yeah, this is it. And then, oh, we're definitely on the right track now. Uh, Revolution. Here we go. Revolutionary Reminders. Now is it... Okay, so the, the, the before the down part was the the bottom of the, the thing here. So, let's see. It is... Uh, there, set it up like that. We'll be fine. There we go. Nice. Thanks, book. Nicely left this hint for ourselves here. Oh, we got uh, something there. The secret store. Hmm. Investigate the upper and lower lab. Okay. Victims of our own success, we found the mirror in the universe, but like cowards, we hide in the shadows from our reflection. Hmm. Species of Cyprim share similar characteristics to us. Theory is God Seed. Numerous plants have been seeded with life by unknown force actor. It would explain a relatively close stage of development and advancement. Only two data points don't prove a trend. Okay. And panspermia. Microbial organisms from a distant planet travel to seed our two planets. Travel distances too great millions of years to travel between planets. Okay. Divergent evolution. We're the same species, but somehow experienced interstellar tra transportation. Explains physical similarities, but not plausible because of travel distance. Would require a specimen to test genetic variants. Ah, uh, my, my theory here is starting to work. Now we got the, um... The, the thing here, right? The... This band here. Silas' access bracelet? I think that's what it is. And I don't know if that gives us access to, but we have it. Okay. We'll find out later. Messages. The edit is finally done to version 5.42 of Celestial Genesis. will be ready, ready for publication by the time you return with your approval we prepared for distribution. On another note, you should mention that you're planning a follow-up volume to Evolutionary Unknowns. But given the profile of a spiel mission, 
Have you considered writing an autobiography? No. There's no more revisions on my side, so yes, please begin distribution. I doubt my vanity is sufficient enough for me to spend an entire book writing about myself. If profit is the goal, do it yourself with some dead. One is the one is only truly appreciated after they're gone. Okay. Well, I don't know who's gonna be still alive here. Maybe 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 Mila's still alive here. Too few realize that when they stand in the eye of the storm and history is being made, a century's worth of study will come from what is being observed in these few weeks. It's a curious feeling that each word of written pri written privately might one day be subject to the eyes of untold numbers. There is no one who should bear the weight of this burden. I got the alert stating the language syntax assembly has started. So what's it like? What is what like? Their language. In inefficient. Details. What does it sound like? Feel like? Really? You're going to talk about feelings? I'm not playing this game. Just let me know when it's finished. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Depends on how I'm feeling. User has withdrawn from conversation. <laughs> and he actually had to type that out. <laughs> Wonder something hidden back here. No? Alright. So was the shot. Is it alarm clock? That's kind of a cool alarm clock. All right. This is a pen or a stylus or paintbrush or something. And this is interesting, right? What are these used for? I wonder. Hmm. But we'll remember that they're there in case we need it for something. All right. Let's, with his bracelet, let's head back out. Play with this geode before we go. No module attached. Okay. There's stairs. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay with taking the stairs up now. Mila, please wait a moment. Get out of my way. I just wanted to talk. You made your choice, Silas. Man up to it. Yep. Troubled waters indeed. Are we back in medical? Okay, yeah, so this is our shortcut back to the, the main area then. We can get in here now, I think. Upper lab. Nice. Observing their violent nature, some might think they are driven by a ruthless intensity. But I see their ambitions are too easily satisfied. The universe calls to them, as it does to us, to ascend to the heavens for the limitless richness that awaits among the stars. Instead, they have descended into destruction over petty matters of power and pleasure. We are witnessing the swan song of their civilization as it turns to ash. We do best to avoid them lest they take us with them. Uh huh. So it said, uh, specimen number 413. Specimens wilting suggests the ultraviolet light protected protection offered from the atmosphere has deteriorated, resulting in the abscission of photosynthesizing organs. And over here we have specimen number 2858. Potential, a potential of hydrogen for this sample measure is 4.7, which is too acidic for consumption by unless treated. At this range, ingestion is likely to impair reproductive functions. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so, um, chemistry stuff. Best, sum best summarized as chemistry stuff. Table of key elements key. Elements known by Psi Prime inhabitants. Elements known by s unknown. So, like, they have... Some. 
Uh, so they have our periodic table. They just have more. Yeah, because there's helium, there's hydrogen, but there's a lot of extras. A lot of extras. Huh. Interesting. What was any like Easter eggs in this? Probably is. If you really got into it. Uh, so we'll look at this later. Probably need it for something later. And what's down here? So this is where the explosion was. Oh, we found somebody. Silas. Mila, I can't erase the data fast enough. I have to destroy the lab. The mission is over, Silas. They can't know, Mila. They can't know what we were doing here. We can find another way. We can still get out of this. They're nearly inside. Goodbye, Mila. I... Silas? So like just, that like just happened? Something weird is going on here. Cause this was this blew up while we we're on the ship. He's been running around this entire time. And who's this guy? And why is his neck broken? Why is his head facing the wrong way? All right, so. We know Silas's fate now. Oh, Mila's still alive. Um, where though? That's the question. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, wow. Mila's office. Oh, jeez. She was just talking. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Proceed what? immediately to the escape pods. Well, whatever's... Okay. They're, uh... They know I'm here. I should be following this thing. I should be following this. I should be following this. Mila, I must confess my insubordination. I had no intention to obey an order to separate us. I said what I had to so that we might be together on this mission. I had Aiden build this place outside the eyes and ears of Axiom. Here, I can finally say, irrevocably, I love you. Huh. Meanwhile, like... I'm being, like, if I'm following something that's killed everyone here. It's God. Okay. Um. There's something there. Hey, um. Okay. So that's what they look like, huh? Wait, this is Mila. That's what she looks like. This is Captain Mila Alexa of the S file. An onboard failure brought down all our major systems. Shortly after, we were discovered and boarded. The crew is dead. All our mission data is backed up to the escape pod. This won't work. We're not compatible. Forget the humans. Forget about Earth. You can't let them find us. 
Yeah. Told you. I knew it. I knew it. From the start. From the start, of course. They're evolved a bit more, but they haven't evolved their sensibilities. I guess, I guess, I mean, yeah, they were hiding, they were, they were shrouding the planet from the start. It was my first clue, I think. So, yeah, I knew for the kind of, from the beginning. I mean, I called it, like, I don't know if that doesn't spoil anything for you guys, but yeah, it, it was, the clues were there from the very beginning. It's not that big of a, a leap, I think, in general. It wasn't a big twist at the end for me, but, you know, I think it was a good game. I think it was interesting. There's little like puzzle things I feel like they could have done more with. Made the game a little longer, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. It is, uh, it is interesting, but yeah. Neat little game. Neat little game. Anyways, guys, I think it's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna let the credits roll out here and, uh, and, uh, I'll see you guys back next time for more. Bye.